Hello, today we're going to be going over how to add some basic SEO to your website. Um, there's hundreds of things that you can do and there's people that make a living on uh, actually doing search engine optimization, but until you can either hire them or until you're at the point to um, you know, invest a lot of money in it or a lot of your own time learning a lot about it, there are some things that you can do in the meantime to try to get your site um, a little bit better optimization than a lot of the ones that are just default uploaded WordPress sites. So we're going to be going over with that today. Um, this is going to be going over using the SEO plugin by Yoast. To download that, you're just going to go to your plugins directory, hit add new, do a SEO by Yoast, or just SEO and Yoast is another easy way to find it. You look over, you see WordPress SEO, that's the one we want. Install. You want to activate the plugin right away. And there you go. That plugin is now installed and on the website. So we're going to go down to the left side, hit dashboard. All right. So here's where we'll start. Right on the dashboard, um, on your way to <laughs> becoming an SEO person on your own site. One thing you want to change right away is you want to use the meta keywords tag. So you can hit the little checkbox for that. Hit save settings right away. Um, you also want to make sure your site's submitted to Google, Yahoo, and Bing. We're not going to go over that today, just because it's a little bit more complicated of a process because you got to go and um, get the verification um, codes and all that. But we'll go over that in a separate video. And if you really are concerned, if you want to know if your website's verified with with them or not, uh, you can give it. Just contact us, and we'll, we'll let you know if verify it or if, if it's not in there. We'll help you put that in. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is go to titles. Now every page in your WordPress site is going to have custom. Um, it's going to have custom SEO information. Uh, you want to customize it, but for the home page, you want to make sure that you actually update it with the SEO information. On my template, it's already the home page is just a regular page. It's just a post page, so that's not that big of a deal. So you're going to go, it'll direct you right to that page. Um, if that wasn't already the case, it would have a box up like this where you can just set all that information. So here's my home page. It could be different for you. Uh, again, if it is, it'll already be on that dashboard page or under titles. So first thing you're going to do is um, pick the focus keyword you want for the home page. In my case, it would be you know, web design, tutorials, and that will help you get some stuff. And even I like to make it a little bit more targeted instead of competing with everybody in the world that wants to see tutorials. I'll say Web Design Tutorials Boston MA. You try to get that geographic targeting in there as much as you can. I'm um, going down to the title. I'll, I'll put something similar into the title. This is what actually comes up in Google. So instead of saying home dash compete now, Web Design Tutorials and Marketing Tips, it'll say Web Design tutorials and expert help near Boston MA and this is something you do on the fly you say what is you know is this a title that if somebody sees that uh, listed in Google is that something they're going to want to click so instead of putting my company name and all this I mean Nobody really cares that much about the name. They want to see, you know, what is on this page. Just give me a, a nice big title of what it is. All right. So that's how that comes up right there. And you also notice that some of these words are bold. Whenever you get, whenever in Google, when somebody searches for keywords, um, if the keywords are, you know, the search term is are a bunch of keywords. So whenever those keywords are highlighted, it will show it here. So. My focus keywords are Web Design Tutorials Boston, and then my title I have bolded Web Design Tutorials, and then at the end, Boston MA. Made a description. This is just um, a little kind of very short summary of what's on the page. It, usually it'll just take out whatever is um, already in the beginning of the page, but you want to you want to stock up some keywords in there. So I'll just go again, Web Design Tutorials. I did by compete now 
in Boston. MA. Okay. You still have 97 characters refs left. <laughs> so you can stock that with some more keywords. These video tutorials will walk you through. Through the entire process of creating an online presence. Just made it, one character, okay? And you'll notice again, any of my keywords will also be highlighted in the meta description, so it's important that you customize that for every page. Keywords, that's another one. These are just the straight keywords that you want to, want to be connected to the page. So you'll say web design tutorials, web design experts, Boston, MA, and then you'll do one with just Boston, web design all kinds of different ones. I mean, if you were a pizza place, you'd put in, you know, uh, pizza pizza in your town or any kind of keywords that you think would be uh, best to have. All right. So that's that. That's all looking pretty good. I'm going to hit update. And that's it. You're going to go through every page in your website. And I know this can be a quite a process. Just try to take it, you know, one page at a time even until you get it all optimized because it really will pay off um, and this this box is going to be on every page from now on now that you've added it in all right hit update and you're all set page still looks the same but you have all that awesome SEO just buried in the back end of it another thing you can do is the XML sitemaps that's another thing you want to enable that that's going to help out with the SEO also um, you want to ping as many people as you can, um, and then you want to hit save XML sitemap settings. That's another thing that's going to help the um, all the search engines. So there's a few other things that you can do with this. Um, we'll go back to titles, and you can look around. Say you just don't have the time right now to go through on every single page and update it custom. I recommend you do, but if you don't, you can go down to SEO and titles and you can set a template. So you say web design tutorials. And then you put in all your information. Uh, I wouldn't put that, but you'll put in all your information and that'll automatically make that the default for each page. Okay. And the same goes on keywords. You can do the same thing for the keywords template. Uh, on each page, web design. And that's really all there is to it. So, I wish you all the best of luck. This has been another tutorial from Compete Now, WordPress and e-marketing tutorials that give you the keys to your web presence and put you in the fast lane to success. You can find more in a full directory on our website at uh, www.startcompeting.com slash tutorials. All right, so thanks for tuning in today. And again, if you need any help with anything or the plugin's not installing right or something like that, don't give up. Just <laughs> we'll be happy to help. Just um, contact us through our site on the phone number or one of the forms, whatever you want to do, and we'd be happy to help you out. All right, have a good day.